Hey guys, what's happening? So in my last video, I did the, I did the, uh, took the play out of my steering wheel, but uh, my truck has 200,000 miles on it now, and I wanted to flush the power steering. Um, this is a 2006 Power Stroke 6 liter, and it's a uh, power steering, obviously, and uh, with a Hydro Boost. Um, you can't really see it in this engine, but I do actually have a 66 Bronco right here. That's the exact same setup. The power steering with the Hydro Boost. So I kind of wanted to show you how this thing works and why you're going to connect it to this low pressure return right here. Um, this is the last leg. The Hydro Boost unit, if you're doing a flush in one of these types of systems, the last leg is a Hydro Boost return. And that's why you're going to connect that to the actual catch can when you do the flush. So what happens is it goes from the... Uh, power steering pump, then the high pressure line feeds the, uh, the power steering gear, and then there's another uh, hose that feeds from the power steering gear back to the Hydro Boost. So that's why this is the last leg, that's why you connect it here to the Hydro Boost. So the first priority is the power steering gear, and the second priority is the brakes in this system. So that's why you want to connect there. So the original spec on the on the 2006 Power Stroke was a uh, Mercon 5, but it's kind of hard to find a full synthetic, so, but the mobile one uh, supersedes that. So, um, yeah, you want to use synthetic just because it's, you don't, I mean, I, I, I don't, I've never changed the fluid in this truck and I've had it for seven years, so I don't know if it's ever been changed, but um, the color is orange, you know, so it's definitely pretty old. That's why you want to use synthetic because you don't flush it or change the thing very often. So, yeah, this looks like it's a little bit low, but. Alright, so I have a little catch can here. Uh, if you can get clear, clear is better, because that one you know when to stop. Because this stuff's expensive, it's, it's $11 a quart. So, and a clear hose if you can get that too. And I'm gonna take that off right there. Just pop that on and start the engine and start turning it as I add fluid to it. But the main thing is you don't want the fluid reservoir to ever get dry. So I might actually keep on adding it as I flush it through. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is drain that tank as much as you can, you know, run it through, and then add new stuff to it, because you don't want to mix the uh, new stuff with the old stuff. you can see that zoom in on that thing real fast I'm hitting the breaker now and you can see it popping out so as soon as I start seeing clear new pink stuff coming through which it already looks like it's starting to come through cleaner and cleaner then I'll know when to stop I'm just hitting the brake back and forth popping the brakes yeah you also want to turn your steering wheel all the way that way you're actually draining the actual the the piston inside the power steering pump so you want to do the steering and the brakes back and forth all right there it is so it's definitely a lot pinker i mean you're never going to get 100 percent of it just because it's just you know it's good it would, it would take you know 10 cores to get it totally pink but a 10 dollar 11 dollars a quart it's kind of crazy so all right there you go um i might go a little bit more we'll see but yeah that's how you do it. Pretty basic. Um, all right, awesome.